Hello there. Welcome to the desk of Dr. Smarty, a growing library of information dedicated to educating you and your family on the world of health and wellness. Oh, great. A question has just come in. Dear Dr. Smarty, During basketball practice, my friend Pam usually has to eat a snack. She said it's because she has type 1 diabetes. Could you explain what this means? From Angela D. in Maine. I'd be happy to, Angela. This is my granddaughter, Laura. Like Pam, she also has type 1 diabetes. In fact, thousands of kids all around the world are living with diabetes and are able to live happy and healthy lives. To better understand it, let's take a look at what happens when you eat food. When you eat food, your digestive system breaks it down into nutrients that help keep you healthy and strong. These nutrients are broken down even more into a sugar called glucose, which makes its way into your small intestines. Think of glucose as tiny balls of energy your body uses to keep on moving. While your body digests your food, your pancreas, which is a large flat gland found right behind your stomach, makes and releases a hormone called insulin. Insulin meets glucose in your small intestines, which is a long skinny tube in your stomach that lets nutrients get into your bloodstream. Once insulin and glucose are in your bloodstream, your heart pumps it all around your body through your veins. Why is this important? Well, think of insulin as the key holder glucose needs to get inside your cells. Once glucose enters the cells, it energizes them, helping to keep you up and running, happy and healthy. But for people with diabetes, their body either cannot make insulin or cannot use it the right way. Because of this, the glucose builds up in their bloodstream and can make them sick. This is called having an autoimmune disease, which means your body is fighting against itself. When someone has type 1 diabetes, it means two things. The first is that their body cannot create insulin. The second is that their body cannot control the amount of insulin in their blood. This means their body isn't as energized as it should be. They need to get insulin every day by getting small painless shots off from an insulin pump. Okay, here we go. Hey, don't worry now. Doesn't hurt a bit. Kids with type 1 diabetes also need to check the amount of glucose in their blood every day. To check this level, they need to take a teeny tiny droplet of blood, don't worry, it doesn't hurt, and put it into a device called a glucose meter. The drop goes in and BAM! It tells us the number. The perfect number is between 80 and 120. If the number is higher than 120, don't worry, all it means is that you need to take some insulin. If the number is lower than 80, it just means you need to eat something. Depending on this number, they may also need to eat more snacks during the day and visit the school nurse to take insulin, especially before lunchtime. They should also take care to get plenty of exercise and see their doctor regularly to make sure they are in tip-top shape. But of course, we should all be eating well, playing often and keeping our bodies healthy. As you can see, kids with type 1 diabetes can run, play and smile just like you and me. Do you have a question for Dr. Smarty? Leave us a comment, send us a message or tweet it to Ask Dr. Smarty. And be sure to like, follow and subscribe to keep up on all things Dr. Smarty.